Satipatthana is the establishment or arousing of mindfulness, as part of the Buddhist practices leading to detachment and liberation. Traditionally, mindfulness is thought to be applied to four domains. Constantly watching sensory experience in order to prevent the arising of cravings which would power future experience into rebirths. Namely mindfulness of the body, feelings, sensations, mind, consciousness, and dhammas. The modern Theravadan Buddhism and the Vipassana or Insight Meditation movement promote satipatthana as key techniques for achieving mindfulness, promoting mindfulness as meaning careful attention instead of the recollection of the Dhamma. Topic. Etymology Satipatthana is a compound term that has been parsed and thus translated in two ways, namely sati patana and sati upatthana. The separate terms can be translated as follows. Sati, Pali, Sanskrit Smirta. Smirta originally meant, to remember, to recollect, to bear in mind, as in the Vedic tradition of remembering the sacred texts. The term Sati also means, to remember. In the Satipatthana Sutta the term Sati means to remember the wholesome Dhammas, whereby the true nature of phenomena can be seen, such as the five faculties, the five powers, the seven awakening factors, the noble eightfold path, and the attainment of insight. Upathana Sanskrit, Upasthana. Attendance, waiting on, looking after, service, care, ministering. Patana setting forth, putting forward, in later Buddhist literature also, origin, starting point, cause. The compound terms have been translated as follows. Sati Upathana, presence of mindfulness, or establishment of mindfulness, or arousing of mindfulness. Underscoring the mental qualities coexistent with or antecedent to mindfulness. Sati Patana. Foundation of mindfulness. Underscoring the object used to gain mindfulness. While the latter parsing and translation is more traditional, the former has been given etymological and contextual authority by contemporary Buddhist scholars such as Bhikkhu Anilayo and Bhikkhu Bodhi. Anilayo argues from an etymological standpoint that, while foundation patana of mindfulness is supported by the pali commentary the term patana foundation was otherwise unused in the pali nikayas and is only first used in the abhidhamma in contrast the term upathana presence or establishment can in fact be found throughout the nikayas and is readily visible in the sanskrit equivalence of the compound pali phrase satipatthana skt smrtiyapasthana or smrta upasthana thus analayo states that presence of mindfulness as opposed to foundation of mindfulness is more likely to be etymologically correct, like Anilayo, Bodhi assesses that establishment upathana of mindfulness is the preferred translation. However, Bodhi's analysis is more contextual than Anilayo's. According to Bodhi, while establishment of mindfulness is normally supported by the textual context. There are exceptions to this rule, such as with SN 47.42, where a translation of foundation of mindfulness is best supported. Soma uses both foundations of mindfulness and arousing of mindfulness. Topic: Four domains or aspects. Traditionally, mindfulness is thought to be applied to four domains. Constantly watching sensory experience in order to prevent the arising of cravings which would power future experience into rebirths. The four domains are Mindfulness of the body, kaya Mindfulness of feelings or sensations, vedana Mindfulness of mind or consciousness, sata, and 
mindfulness of dhammas. Topic: Mindfulness of dhammas. Dhamma is often translated as mental objects. According to Analayo, translating dhamma as mental object is problematic for multiple reasons. The three prior satipatthana, body, sensations, mind, can become mental objects in themselves, and those objects, such as the hindrances, aggregates and sense spaces, identified under the term dhamma are far from an exhaustive list of all possible mental objects. Analayo translates dhamma as mental factors and categories, classificatory schemes, and frameworks or points of reference to be applied during contemplation." Analayo quotes Gaiori as stating that contemplation of these dhamma are specifically intended to invest the mind with a soteriological orientation. He further quotes Gombrich as writing that contemplating these dhamma teaches one to see the world through Buddhist spectacles. Topic. Within Buddhist teachings In the Satipatthana Sutta the term sati means to remember the dharmas, whereby the true nature of phenomena can be seen. According to Paul Williams, referring to Eric Frauwallner, mindfulness provided the way to liberation, constantly watching sensory experience in order to prevent the arising of cravings which would power future experience into rebirths. According to Vedder, dhyana may have been the original core practice of the Buddha, which aided the maintenance of mindfulness. The four foundations of mindfulness are one of the seven sets of states conducive to enlightenment Pali Bodhipakyadhamma identified in many schools of Buddhism as means for progressing toward Bodhi awakening in the Noble Eightfold Path they are included in Sama Sati and less directly Sama Samadhi Sati is recommended as a one-way path for the purification from unwholesome factors, and the realization of nibbana, in the Pali Canon, this framework for systematically cultivating mindful awareness can be found in the Mahasatipatthana Sutta, Greater Discourse on the Foundation of Mindfulness, DN 22, the Satipatthana Sutta, Discourse on the Foundations of Mindfulness. MN 10, and throughout the Satipatthana Samyutta SN, Chapter 47. The Satipatthana Samyutta itself contains 104 of the Buddha's discourses on the Satipatthanas including two popular discourses delivered to the townspeople of Sadaka, the Acrobat, and the Beauty Queen. The Sutta Pitaka contains texts in which the Buddha is said to refer to the fourfold establishment of mindfulness as a direct or one-way path. For purification and the realization of nirvana, the Chinese Tripitaka also contains two parallels to the Satipatthana Sutta, Madhyama Agama No. 26 and Ekatara Agama 12.1. The four foundations of mindfulness are also treated in various Abhidharma works in the major Buddhist traditions such as the Abhidharmakosha, the Yogacarabhumi Sastra and the Visuddhimagga. Topic. Contemporary exegesis The four establishments of mindfulness are regarded as fundamental in modern Theravadan Buddhism and the Vipassana or Insight Meditation movement. In this approach the emphasis is on mindfulness itself, as bare attention, instead of on the objects, mental states to be guarded, and the teachings to be remembered. The four establishments meditation practices gradually develop the mental factors of samatha calm, and vipassana insight. Thanissaro Bhikkhu notes that, Satipatthana practice is often said to be separate from the practice of jhana, but argues that mindfulness is also an aid in the development of concentration. Buddhadasa rejected the reliance on the Satipatthana Sutta as being vague and muddled, 
instead relying on the Anapanasati Sutta. According to Buddhadasa, the aim of mindfulness is to stop the arising of disturbing thoughts and emotions, which arise from sense contact. According to Zhegosh Polak, the four upasana have been misunderstood by the developing Buddhist tradition, including Theravada, to refer to four different foundations. According to Polak, the four upasana do not refer to four different foundations of which one should be aware, but are an alternate description of the jhanas, describing how the samskaras are tranquilized. The six sense bases which one needs to be aware of kayanupasana. Contemplation on vedanas, which arise with the contact between the senses and their objects, vedananupasana. The altered states of mind to which this practice leads, chittanupasana. The development from the five hindrances to the seven factors of enlightenment, dhammanupasana. Topic. See also. Topic. Notes Subnotes <laughs>